what is this all about? Do you feel spammed by now? <laughs> happy Easter, everybody. I wanted to wish everybody a happy Easter, despite the circumstances. And um, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed up to this point. As far as I can see today, I, I'm at 85. So thank you very much. You 85, I really appreciate it. Makes my heart warm up and go all fuzzy. <laughs> so thank you. But um, all of you are very, very happy Easter. So it is a strange Easter this year. I never thought in my lifetime I would see this, that uh, we can't celebrate Easter. So I decided to throw in another video for the day, for the occasion, and go on a bud hunt instead of an egg hunt. And I thought maybe you would like to join me. So we're looking here at my first bloom of Leodoro Sweet Memory. We don't have a fragrance yet, but there's still time. So of course that's not a bud, but you can see lots of buds coming. So she's going to be busy permeating my living room area with her beautiful fragrance. And I hope that this is actually in shot because it's a very windy day. And um, I have two. <laughs> we have another case of click syndrome at Tecart when I was doing my Schwerte order. But the second one has some buds coming in the back here as well. So we'll get double enjoyment out of these. Yeah, last year, not enough protection on there. Had them out in the sun and we did some damage. But they're doing all right. They're doing all right. So bud hunt number one. Eureka! And here's another bud. One! Except it should have been two. Look! What a shame! But anyway, this is a big achievement here because this is uh, Francis Fox. And uh, it came, she came from Schwerter. She tried to bloom last year. Let me go get a better angle here. And you can see right here, everything just shriveled and died, went to wood. But this year, there could be one. I'm not counting my chickens. I'm not counting my buds <laughs> before they bloom. But there's hope. Behold, I found more buds. Yay! Leptotes bicolor. Five buds on there. First blooming. I wonder if it's going to be fragrant for me. I can't see any hint of bicolor yet. I'm still hopeful. It wouldn't surprise me if there's none because it came from Schwerter. And you know what? I only had like two or three little sticks of a plant. Mm -hmm. But anyway, more buds in the foliage there. Leptotis bicolor. Let's hope she's not an alba, but if she smells nice, I'll have her. But wait, there's more. Phalaenopsis Pink Toon Bronze Age. We have buds. Yay! Taking forever to open. But once they are open, they will last forever as well. Here's a little unicorn. Isn't she cute? I got that from my daughter. Aww. Anyway, back to Pink Toon Bronze Age. Buds! Yay! I feel like a kid finding my little eggs out in the foliage. 
But wait, there's more, look. Just about made it into the flow here of buds. Yay, with resident spider. Here is Paphiopedalum Linle Kupovitz going to bloom again. Happy days. In a few months, happy days, <laughs> because this one has a raspberry fragrance. And it's so, so pretty. It's not necessarily delicate. Yeah, you have to be close by, but you can smell it. Keep it away from anything that is more fragrant. And uh, you will be able to enjoy raspberry fragrance from Paphiopedlum Linle Kopovitz. I leave my spider in there. He does his great job. Where this orchid lives, I have no pests whatsoever. So if this triggers anybody, I'm really sorry, but I don't disturb him as little as possible other than, you know, providing him with water. <laughs> but yeah, Linne Kupowitz, another bud. We're still waiting but more buds. As you saw on my mounts video, they are starting to swell up, but some are starting to blast. So yeah, I'm a little concerned. I'm really sorry about the wind. Sorry. Eh. I'm a little concerned, but um, I hope that the majority of them make it. This is Dendrobium aphyllum, or Pierardii with lots of buds. Woohoo! Let's go inside and expose Dendrobium tortile. Ta-da! More buds. Ooh, these are starting to look really good. I have about maybe double, possibly triple, the amount I got last year. So this is going to be pretty. I don't stare at them too much. Maybe that's why the Aphyllum is dropping buds, because I keep gawking at them. These guys hide behind last year's growth. But Dendrobium tortile with buds. Hey, hey. And we have buds on Matthias Tancambili. Now, some nincompoop broke the second spike with the help of wind. I was trying to rescue the plant from a gale. I picked it up and then another gale came at me and promptly the whole pot fell and one spike broke. It was my first year with two spikes. Oh, I'm so upset. I was so angry for several days. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, we have some buds on Fias, Tancanvillier. She is not a pretty plant. She could be. But because of her size, she has to live outside. So she gets a lot of, lot of heat and bashing and, you know, the dry wind and, oh, not a pretty plant, but she's here. It's either that or not have her at all. And she's going to bloom. René Marquez, crossed with Dimeranda, Emarginata. Buds. <laughs> and these guys are taking forever to open. There's someone on my Instagram. Theirs have finally opened. But uh, yeah, these are going to be like a Rena Marquez cross with a little bit similar to the Yokosuka story. But supposedly they change colors and the petals will turn pink eventually. Mine did not turn pink last year. But hey, details, details, right? Today we're hunting for bug. And here we are. Yay for Telumnias! Here is Gyrek Flyer Firm White in bud. And just as well as I was doing my little bud hunting, collecting my plants together, 
I saw aphids on this, which I would not have seen because they've already been watered. So I hope that I caught them in time, but uh, I've never seen this one bloom before, so it'd be great to see them. But yeah, more buds coming from Tolomia Direct Flyer from White. Can you see? Woo! Can you see what I'm seeing? We've got buds. We've got buds on Victoria Regina. I hope the wind is not going to help make it so bad and distorted that you can see but the buds. Oh, I'm so excited. You cannot believe. I am so thrilled. So, I hope you enjoyed this little bud hunting expedition as opposed to Easter egg hunting expedition. I just wish that everybody does have the best Easter that they can possibly have. And uh, thank you again very, very much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Take care, everybody, and happy Easter. Bye.